Hey guys, welcome back. This is Project Life Week 20. And yep, I'm still working with my No Pink kit. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm starting to struggle. I'm, I'm feeling the withdrawal symptoms. Uh, this week, however, I've got uh, it's not that I've got like quite a lot of photos. Uh, I blew up one of my favorite photos from the week of me and Jack on the merry-go-round. Uh, and so that take up, takes up three kind of slots in there. So I have not that many photos, but I have a lot of photo uh, coverage. So one of the things that I wanted to do was create this kind of flip up pocket down the bottom here, one of my four by sixes, so that I could still add some journaling. It was one of those weeks where um, I kind of did still have journaling to add. Uh, it was also one of those weeks where I fought, I fought really hard with my typewriter and the typewriter won. So I have actually pre-printed out my journaling. I did that in Photoshop uh, just to make life a little bit easier. Um, not sure why my uh, typewriter hates me, but it does. So I'm moving on. What I've done is printed that out on just a four by six scrap of white card. And I've also trimmed myself out a four by six piece of acetate. Then I went and grabbed this green, yes, I know, green, uh, some green pattern paper from that Sweet Story pad, uh, and I've trimmed out, I think in the end it was about, uh, about one and a half inches of that. I just kind of eyeballed it, to be honest. Uh, I used my scoreboard to score that, and although I had originally intended to have the kind of half inch piece at the front, in the end I've attached the inch piece uh, onto the front of the acetate so that my photos can sit on both the acetate and the pattern paper. Just kind of combines it a little bit better, otherwise the photos did look a little bit floaty just sitting on the acetate. Uh, I like this a bit better, they kind of get a little bit grounded, I mean they're not sitting on you know a whole lot of the pattern paper but enough to kind of tie it all together uh, and so that way this I, I know that this particular week is going to sit on the front side of a page protector so I'll be able to slip that into the pocket so that the journaling is in the, the pocket and the acetate piece with my photos is actually on top of the pockets uh, so it will be able to be flipped up and the journaling read underneath. Now to kind of echo that little stripe of green pattern paper, I am repeating the same thing on my title card. I had a four by six piece uh, that was like a black and white stripe. I decided just to make things easy on myself and use that as the base card. And then I've added another, it's about a half inch stripe of that green pattern paper and another little kind of like a notebooky kind of tan colored paper it's it's kind of an odd color but looks more colored at least when it's on the black and white that very stark white background so I've just echoed those stripes there and then I added a label from that very old Heidi Swap sticker sheet uh, and I used my black foam alphas from Citrus Twist to spell out week uh, and then I have got these brand new um gold glitter alphas that my lovely friend Alice sent me. I just opened them today. Decided it was the perfect time to use them. I love the little bit of gold in there. The the photo of me and Jack is a little bit kind of there's like golden light in there. I don't know. If it just kind of works. It felt gold to me, so I added the gold alphas there. Now speaking of the photo of me and Jack, there was this kind of large empty space up the top here and I knew I wanted to put something in there uh, and this giant label ended up being a great solution because it kind of fills up the space uh, but it also hides the other people that were in the photo who are not related to me, not 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 at all. So I've hidden them under some labels uh, and then I am stacking some stamps from the Citrus Twist Storyteller stamp set. I love that stamp set. I'm using it more and more. Um, there's so many different phrases on there. It's really easy to kind of fit them to whatever story you're using. Now, as far as embellishment goes, it's it's going to be a pretty light embellishment week. This layout's feeling pretty busy to me already, but I do still have a bunch of those gold asterisk chipboard pieces. I think they're an Ali Edwards one, uh, and I'm determined to not put too much of this kit back into my stash, so... 
I don't have too many of those asterisks to use, so I'm, I'm going to attempt to finish those up before the end of the month. So I added one to the label on me and Jack, and then I decided to add another one onto the photo of Lil and her hair cut down there, just for a teeny bit of embellishment. Uh, and then I'm moving on to my next card. Now, the yes or no worked so perfectly with this photo uh it's just one of those cut aparts from the sweet story collection and i'm using the alpha i can't remember the name of the alpha perry perry street the perry street alpha from uh kelly stamps and i'm stamping out chair yoga because one day one evening i just turned around and shane was doing this and when i asked what he was doing he said chair yoga um it definitely had a question mark on it <laughs> so i'm adding chair yoga unfortunately that alpha doesn't have a question mark so i'm just leaving it at chair yoga um, I am going to add a tiny bit of embellishment though and I have had these stickers in this kit and I haven't used them yet so that was one of my motivations. I'm going to add a little ombre of green arrows, yes green, um, on top of there just to kind of fill in the gap that's left there. Now I've used two labels already so of course I want to add a third. I'm going to do that on this photo of Mally Cat um, again for two reasons. It covers up the purple, the purple blanket in her little cat cage. She ended up at the vet this week. Poor old thing has kidney failure uh, and it's not unexpected. She's pretty old at this point so she has responded really well to the treatment so far which is great and again I'm using that storytelling stamp set to stamp cat and then I combined the Perry Alpha uh, to say poor cat and added another little chipboard. Now I decided that because I've used this alpha a couple of times in here I want to sort of tie it into the rest of the layout so I decided to stamp hello on top of my title card and I'm glad I did it kind of I've got a lot of kind of stamp stacking on this layout and so that kind of tied the title card into that. Now I was busy here trying to work out how I could stamp burr on this photo uh, using the storytelling stamp set and then I thought no what are you doing Diane I have an alpha uh, this one is called the Bailey Alphabet. Um, it's not the same size, but it's a very similar font. It's the same sort of font as the uh, foam alphas. And so I pulled that out and I'm going to stamp a burr on here. It was a very, very cold morning, that one. Uh, this stamp set does have punctuation, so I know it's not the same font. I'm going to chuck a question mark onto my chair yoga. It really, really needed it. Uh, and then I'm going to add one more little gold chipboard and call this layout done. Now this was a super, super quick one to do and I love how it turned out. Despite my uh, real withdrawal from pink, honestly, I, I can't wait for June to be finished and for me to uh, have this self-imposed challenge over. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there are a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.